when Robin Hood was twenty years old, he happened to meet little John, a young brisk blade, right fit for the trade, for he was a lusty young man. Though he was called little, his limbs they were large, and his stature was seven foot high. Wherever he came, they quaked at his name, for soon he would make them to fly. How they got acquainted, I'll tell you in brief, if you will but listen a while. For this very jest, amongst all the rest, I think it may cause you to smile. Old Robin Hood said to his jolly bowmen, Pray tarry you here in this grove, And see that you all observe well my call, While through the forest I roam. Then he shook hands with his merry men all, And bid them at present goodbye. Then as near a brook his journey he took, a stranger he chanced to espy. They happened to meet on a long narrow bridge, and neither of them would give way. Said bold Robin Hood, and sturdily stood, I'll show you right Nottingham play. You speak like a coward, the stranger he said, as there with your long bow you stand. How I protest, could you shoot at my breast, while I have but a staff in my hand? The name of a coward, quoth Robin, I scorn, wherefore my long bow I'll lay by. And now for thy sake, a staff I will take, the truth of thy manhood to try. Then Robin Hood stepped to a thicket of trees, and chose him a staff of brown oak. Now this being done, away he did run to the stranger, and merrily spoke. Now look at my staff, it's lusty and tough, so here on the bridge we will play. Whoever falls in, the other shall win the battle and then wheel away. First Robin he gave the stranger a bang, so hard it made his bones ring. The stranger he said, this must be repaid, I'll give you as good as you bring. The stranger gave Robin a crack on the crown, which caused the blood to appear. Then Robin enraged, more fiercely engaged, and followed with blows more severe. And then, in a fury, the stranger he flew, gave Robin a damnable look, and with a bold blow that laid him full low, he tumbled him into the brook. Oh, where have you gone? And where are you now? The stranger he laughed and he cried. Quoth bold Robin Hood, I'm here in the flood, and I'm floating along in the tide. And I must acknowledge thou art a brave soul, with thee I'll no longer contend. Indeed, I must say, thou hast won the day, our battle shall be at an end. Then Robin, he waded all unto the bank, and pulled himself out by a thorn. And just at the last, he blew a loud blast, straightway on his fine bugle horn. The hills they did echo, the valleys did ring, at which his brave bowmen appeared, all clothed in green, so bold to be seen, straight up to their master they steered. Oh, what is the matter, quoth William Stutely, good master, you're wet to the skin, no matter, quoth he, the lad that you see, in fighting has tumbled me in. 
Hey, a lot goes got free, the others replied. So straight they were seizing him there to duck him likewise. But Robin Hood cries, he is a stout fellow for bear. There's no one will harm me, friend, be not afraid. These bowmen upon me do wait. There's three score and nine, if thou wilt be mine, thou shalt have my livery straight. Oh, here is my hand, the stranger replied, I'll serve thee with all of my heart. My name is John Little, a man of good metal, ne'er doubt me, for I'll play my part. This man is John Little, said bold Robin Hood, so now Little John he shall be. Prepare a fine feast, and none of the least, for we will be merry, quoth he. A brace of fat deer was quickly brought in, good ale and strong liquor likewise. The feast was so good in all the green wood, where this seven-foot babe was baptised. Then Robin he took the pretty sweet babe, and clothed him from top to the toe. In garments of green, most gay to be seen, And gave him a curious long bow. Thou shalt be an archer as well as the best, And range in the green wood with us, Where we'll not want for gold nor silver, behold, While bishops have aught in their purse. We live here like squires or lords of renown, without e'er a foot of free land. We feast on good cheer with wine, ale and beer, and everything at our command. Then music and dancing did finish that day, at length when the sun waxed low. Then all the whole crew from the grove they withdrew, and into their caves they did go. And so ever after, as long as he lived, although he was tall and full grown, yet nevertheless the truth to express, by the name little John he was known.